Hi folks and friends, I'm in the Fringe and welcome to a game called Into Abby's Head. Now this game looks a lot like Little Nightmares, in fact I'm highly sure that it has been inspired by Little Nightmares and that's one of my favourite games that I've played on this channel, so I'm absolutely about it. If at any point you decide you like this video guys, be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe, let's go. Okie cokey, so this is us, and straight away I'm getting little nightmare vibes. As you can see, the character design is very similar, other than we're wearing red and not yellow. So, what's the sitch? We just gotta knock things over and find boxes and stuff. Little rats scurrying everywhere. It is very cool, I like the design, and for such a simple game, I'm all about it. I love things like this, it's all fun and whoa, we're flying now. Okay, we could, that didn't happen in little nightmares, but you know, I'm all game for flying. If flying's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Floating, flying, it's all good. Can we move this? Uh, see, that, whoa, dude, that is seven shades of absolutely not. What is the random face? Not about that. And what's with this that looks like salt that says nachos? That's not nachos. And apparently we can move it. And I get the feeling we're going to need it, but I don't know when. So, uh, okay, the random floatiness is really getting to me now, not going to lie. Too much floaty weirdness. Okay, we got this, I think, probably. Oh. Okay, that's done a bad. Oh, okay. Killing all the sluggy things. That's good. Random slugs. Come to your doom. We don't want you. I assume they'd have been all killy if we didn't get the salt on the floor. I knew this nacho salt would be useful. Nacho salt. They are the creepiest creatures I've ever seen. But luckily, they're no longer here. And that's good and fine and happy. And everything is going fantastically well for us. As long as we don't fall through this gap. Which I could do because I'm very good at being terrible at platforming. Why won't you jump? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. This game's a demo, by the way, and it is pretty cool, I think, so far. Even though we keep randomly flying, but I'm okay with it. Random tickly hands of death. These are probably going to tickle us in all sorts of weird ways. And I'm not really sure I'm about the tickliness, but, you know, you can't have everything in life, can you? Can I walk past this without getting touched? Don't want to get touched. No touchy. No touchy touchy. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, okay. That one's a bit creepy DP. That's a really long hand, that one. That's the super tickler. That's like the Mr. Tickler, but we've got past it. It's fine. How far does this come? That's bad. That light's not good. I feel like we should be avoiding the light. I don't want to get too close to the light. We wait for it to pass. Lights in Little Nightmares were no good. I, I keep mentioning Little Nightmares, but I think it's impossible not to in a game like this. Uh, okay, we got randomly tickled to death. I don't know how, because I don't think I was anywhere near the hand, but it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just run across here, full speed. Oh! Well, that was simple enough, wasn't it? Can I get past this hand without certain death? Whoop. Whoop. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there, slowly but surely. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're not doing the best, but we're doing all right. There's a random floating beam of death there. I'm worried about that. Okay, okay, okay. Slow and steady. That's how we're doing this. We're going to avoid the creepy hands by being very careful about what we do. And I don't know whether to go that way or not. There doesn't seem to be a reason to go that way. So we're just going to keep on going this way and hope. Oh, that was a bit of tricksty. Tricksty, tricksty. Cool. I think we've done it. Moving onwards and upwards. Oh, we're in the vents. This is so much like Little Nightmares. Just the vents, you just know. And just the hood, the whole styling. It's obviously inspired by it, but it has its own unique quirkiness, which I think is quite cool. Okay. So, we're into the puzzly part now, I imagine. So what's the sitch with this? Can I move this? I reckon we need to find a box. There's got to be a box. There's always a box, you know what I mean? Here is said box. I'm taking this, whatever this is. I don't know what they do, but... <laughs> okay, let's scoot around for a bit. It's like we're on ice, at the way she's scooting. She's just all over everywhere, sort of like she's wearing ice skates or something. Cool. So we've got said box. And now we can interact with this. Oh, that's on a timer. Okay. It's okay, we got it. So turn this on. Turn that on. Everything is going fantastically well. That's done a thing. That's not done a thing. Uh, there's got to be some sort of sequence to do these or something. Okay, so I'm going to imagine that this one needs to be open. This one, not so much, because we don't need it anymore, do we? I don't think. Don't know about this one. Let's try this one. Oh, no. We do need that one. Okay, so what happens if we do this? Nope, that still doesn't do anything. Okay. Whoop, straight through there. That's not doing anything. 
What if we're really quick? Yeah, you've just got to be quick. That's all you got to do. you got to go Sonic fast. So is that going to stop that? Or no? That hasn't stopped anything. That needs to be open. So I'm assuming it must be this one. Oh, this has got complicated all of a sudden. Okay, it stopped. It has stopped. I don't know what I did to make it stop, but it stopped. That's all good. That's done a thing. And we're on the other side of here. Everything is going fantastically well, I'm assuming. And I think we can move on into the creepy chasm of death where everything is creepy. I don't know why I'm collecting these things, but they seem relevant. I don't know. Were they, I thought they were checkpoints at first, but they're not checkpoints, so who knows what they are. This looks ominous and strange and weird. Let's get this. That's out of the way. Oh, big giant creepy geezer. Not about that. Okay, so we've got to watch out for the fire. Try not to get torched. That seems important. Oh, I'm not sure about this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Big fat man. Run away from the big fat man. Quicker, 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 quicker. Oh, you've got to time it just right to get away from him. Creepy fat man. I think we got it. I think we got this. Oh, that's bad. I should have just run, but I was trying to be too careful about it. Come on, we can do this. There we go. We're right through. I thought that was going to be quite complicated, but it wasn't actually that hard. It was just a matter of patience. They were really slow and fat, and if they're really slow and fat, you know it's fine. Don't worry about anything. Oh, is that the end of the game? Oh, I wanted more. That was really cool. Right, okay. So, I really liked that. I thought it was really good. It did remind me of Little Nightmares. It obviously wasn't as good as Little Nightmares because Little Nightmares was really well polished. But I reckon if you gave this game a lot of polish, I'd want to play it. And anything Little Nightmares related, I'm all about it because the story was cool. And this had its own little quirks and I thought it was really interesting. So, all that being said, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe. And please be sure to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.